The importance of locally made wind uh, turbines in South Africa is to comply with uh, lo the local content set out by the DTI and also to have uh, job creation and wealth spread in South Africa. And um, how was this made possible um, in Atlantis? It was made possible by GRI's in, in cent or initiative to invest in South Africa and then the City of Cape Town's in incentives to develop in Atlantis, which included the fast track facilities through the City of Cape Town's departments. And what is this going to do now for the possibility of creating more um, renewable energy in South Africa? With us as the, as the first entrant into the Atlantis uh, Industrial Initiative or the Green Energy Zone, we think that we're the anchor tenant and we, we will draw more uh, in, uh, investment in future. Uh, seeing that they under, see how quickly it can be done and also that the processes are, are working. And how much investment do you see sort of taking place in, in the country in terms of renewable energy? How much are you planning on investing in it? Um, how much investment are you planning to get from, from, from the other, providers, uh, other service providers? We have just invested almost 300 million rands worth of, uh, well, well, we have just had almost 300 million rand worth of investment in, in, in the facility. We do not foresee further investments in the, sh in the short term, but definitely as the, as the demand stabilizes and, and grow, we will look at further investments of similar nature. Other industries in this area, is uh, blade manufacturing is a possibility which is also a factories of similar size and similar investment quantities or values. Who are the biggest players in, in, in wind energy in South Africa who will be purchasing your, your turbines and is it also meant for sub-Saharan Africa and, and other parts of the world? Our towers is meant for sub-Saharan Africa and other parts, well sub-Saharan Africa predominantly with South, starting with the South African market. The major players are the Vestas, Siemens, Axiona, Nordex, GE. It seems to come a long way like since the, in the last five years, the whole uh, wind energy sector in South Africa. Um, do you see further growth in this market, yeah? I see definitely f further growth with the cost of renewable energy, especially wind energy, being driven down by the uh, REIPP process and the bid windows. It becomes more and more lucrative to uh, invest in renewable energy as opposed to the conventional energy and then specifically in wind because wind is becoming one of the, the cheapest energy sources in South Africa. We now have uh, two uh, factories that uh, are going to be turning out roughly the same amount. Uh, roughly we'll be turning out about uh, 300 wind towers a year. Uh, obviously they have anticipated that there is a demand uh, for that in terms of wind farms and so on. And at least the towers that uh, um, uh, well, we are expecting higher levels of localization than just the towers, but at least uh, the, these two should make, make sure that, uh, the that the public can be confident that the towers that they see uh, in the wind uh, turbines uh, are actually uh, manufactured in South Africa. The minister brought up a concern about transport, about the, about the whole, um, you know, too many, too many trucks on the road, not enough trains. Uh, what is what is the details take on that? Well, uh, it's not the DTI's take on that, but it's uh, uh, part of the uh, Presidential Infrastructure Coordination uh, Commission work, PICC work, uh, is uh, to uh, rehabilitate and strengthen our, road network, our rail network. Uh, so uh, the rail network is, uh, is critically important. There's a big investment uh, taking place in that. Uh, I happen to be the chair of uh, one of the SIPs, which is the one going from uh, uh, from, from Durban to, uh, to Johannesburg, which is probably the, the biggest and most important one. There's a very sizable uh, rail investment program that's envisaged as part of that.